a new massacre is perpetrated by terrorist groups against the staff of Al Ikhbariya News Channel. The Ministry of Information holds the state supporting terrorism politically and legally responsible for the massacre. The terrorist attack on the Syrian Lakhbariya news channel is widely condemned as voices of form that such a crime will not silence Syrian news media. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our news for today. A new ugly atrocity is added to the criminal record of the armed terrorist groups who continue to exemplify the dirtiest tool in the hostile scheme against Syria. The groups attacked at dawn this morning the building of the Syrian Al Ikhbariya satellite channel because it exposed their heinous plots before the public opinion and the true nature of the murderers and the criminals. This terrorist attack comes to complete the package of European and Western sanctions against Syrian news media in an attempt to silence its voice and blur the image of truth it conveys. The terrorist groups have planted explosive devices inside the building to kill the biggest number possible of the channel's staff. The Ministry of Information has announced that an armed terrorist group attacked at dawn today the headquarters of the Syrian Al Ikhbariya news channel in Damascus suburbs, assassinating several journalists, news media men, technicians, and guards. They planted explosive devices in the newsroom and the various administrative and technical equipment buildings, destroying them completely and setting fire to other parts of the premises. They handcuffed workers and shot them dead and kidnapped others. In a statement, the Information Ministry mourned the martyrs of free speech and honest national media, branding this evil act as a crime against the human conventions, media ethics, and the profession of journalism. The Ministry pointed out that this atrocity that targeted media freedom, cadres, and establishments coincide with the attempts to stop the transmission of Syrian satellite channels and the sanctions imposed on them, the most recent of which was the statement issued by the European Union yesterday evening against the radio and TV general establishment in Syria and prior to that against the Syrian satellite channel and a dunya private channel. The Ministry warned that the recurrent attempts to silence Syrian media and prevent it from conveying the whole truth will be doomed to failure. The Ministry called on Arab information ministers to shoulder their responsibilities and practice their role in guaranteeing the freedom of information and satellite transmission in protecting the life and safety of news media men everywhere. Information Minister Amran Zabi said the armed terrorist groups perpetrated the worst massacre against journalism and the freedom of media when they executed the Syrian media figures in cold blood. The minister held those who instigate against Syria and escalate terrorism against its people fully responsible for this massacre, taking into consideration the sanctions imposed by EU countries in Luxembourg on Syrian media. He added that those who committed the crime had carried out the decision of the Arab League Council to silence the voice of Syria. I refer this heinous crime against the Syrian media to the European Union, its institutions, and all the ministers of information in the world, the Arab Foreign Press, the United Nations, the United Nations Security Council, the United Nations Human Rights Council, the Arab League, as well as the Arab League Secretary General, who kept on ignoring the terrorist crimes against the Syrian people, the execution of journalists in cold blood after tying their hands behind their back is a barbaric crime, and this event will not stop al Akhbariya from continuing its transmission in defense of the democratic free speech. 
journalists at Al Khbariya Channel asserted that the massacre committed by the terrorists against their colleagues will enhance their determination to hold the torch of truth and to honestly convey the facts about what's going on in Syria. I can only pray for the rest of the souls of all the martyrs of Syria, including the martyrs of Al Khbariya. I want to say that their blood will not be wasted in vain. We assert for all the Akhbariya viewers that the martyrs will remain the owners of the floor and that they will remain broadcasting live, conveying the truth, so their terrorism... As you see, it is a challenge to the Syrian information and to al Akhbariya. We will continue to raise our voices against terrorism, against the killers, and against those savages. From here, from this rebel, from this studio, we tell you that whatever you do and whoever you kill, we will continue to challenge you and we will continue to raise our voices to tell the truth and defend our country. I pray for the rest of the souls of the martyrs who were killed at this place, al Akhbariye. Even if terrorism reached it to destroy it, the channel will remain broadcasting the voice of truth and the workers will keep raising their voices of truth to face the terrorism in Syria. This is a crime and words are unable to describe this destruction. Material losses are of little value compared with the martyrs. I came to see the number of martyrs handcuffed and leg cuffed. They were killed in cold blood. It was so painful and the scene was horrible. But this terrorism, this crime which was supervised by the Arab League, its Secretary General and the Arab Information Ministers who called on halting the broadcast of Al-Akhbariye and the other Syrian channels on Nalsat and Arabsat. I tell them that whatever this decision was implemented or not, we will remain the journalists, soldiers and the defenders of the truth supported by the people's awareness and their unity. I pray for the rest of the souls of our colleagues. To the terrorists, I tell, don't think that you succeeded in terrifying us. We will remain steadfast. We will convey our voice. Our message is clear. To all the watchers of Al Akhbariya, we have one message. What happened today is a shame to be added to the disgrace of those who pretend to call for freedom and democracy. Actually, they are armed men, terrorists and sabotagers. They don't respect the freedom of opinion. This is another evidence that Al Akhbariya Surya has revealed their lies. In denunciation of the crime against al Khbariya, the journalists' union called on media men to hold a sit-in at the Umayyad Square in Damascus. The journalists expressed their condemnation of this act of terror. They targeted al Khbariya headquarters with the aim of silencing one of Syria's national media outlet, which is trying to reflect what is really going on, and this is just one part of the comprehensive attack against the Syrian media. They pointed out that this crime will motivate journalists to be more determined to serve the cause of truth and defend their country. The People's Assembly has denounced the terrorist attack on the Syrian al Akhbariya news channel and dedicated the largest part of its session today to the subject of the terrorist massacre that targeted the channel. The Assembly members branded the crime as a barbaric act that aimed at silencing the voice of truth and hiding the reality al Akhbariya and other Syrian channels were set on conveying and the attempt to expose the lies of instigators against Syria. The assembly presented condolences to the martyrs' families, affirming that this cowardly act will not deter Syrian news media men from continuing their message and conveying Syria's voice despite all conspiracies, instigation, and terrorism. The National Media Council condemned the terrorist attack on the Akhbariya channel, which killed three journalists and four guards. Chairman of the National Media Council, Talib Qadi Amin, stressed that the terrorist attack against the Syrian al Akhbariya channel is a coward terrorist act which aims at silencing the voice of truth of the Syrian media. 
the Syrian Bar Association, the Syrian Doctors Association, the Syrian Workers Union, and the Syrian Students Union condemned the heinous terrorist attack, blaming the Gulf states for offering logistical and financial help to terrorists to commit such crimes. The Syrian Observatory and the Council of Studies and the Human Rights stressed that the attack came in implementation of hostile foreign agendas which tried to destroy the Syrian state and media institution. The Lebanon Amal Movement condemned the terrorist attack, stressing its solidarity with the Syrian people against such terrorist attacks by armed terrorist groups. The independent Nasserite Movement pointed out that targeting the Syrian media by U.S.-backed regimes and the region aims at silencing the truth and perpetuating the language of fabrication pursued by some Arab channels. Syria's permanent representative to the UN in Geneva, Dr. Faisal Hamoui, has affirmed that Syria has earnestly cooperated with the Human Rights High Commission and relevant international organizations and committees and presented a lot of documented information on this effort to provide medical assistance to all those who needed them, although 127 hospitals and medical centers had been targeted by the armed terrorist groups. In his word during a session of the UN Human Rights Commission in Geneva held to discuss a report on Al Hula massacre, Al Hamoui said Syria had clarified in a documented way how the armed terrorist groups used children as human shields and the extent of sabotage and damage inflicted on infrastructure in the country. Al Hamoui recalled that Syria has signed with the UN the response plan for the distribution of a humanitarian assistance under the Syrian government's supervision, although little assistance has actually arrived. Despite all such cooperation, Al Hamoui added, more biased accusations have been leveled against Syria by certain sites which relied in their data on the misleading news media reports and did not take into consideration the documented facts presented by Syria. Al Hamoui pointed out that the politicized sessions of the Council hold nothing but criticism and disapproval and abound with biased and subjective data that may drive Syria to think seriously of stopping all forms of cooperation with such commissions. Russia's foreign ministry today criticized as unilateral stance the statement issued by NATO concerning the incident of shooting down a Turkish military aircraft by Syrian anti-air defenses. Head of the General European Cooperation Department at the Russian Foreign Ministry said that Russia was expecting a stance that is in line of the region's interests, not a unilateral stance. He added that all players who are responsible for preserving security in the region should unify their efforts to prevent the escalation of the situation. During clashes with armed terrorist groups which tried to block Barada Valley Road in Al Hama, competent authorities yesterday killed a number of gunmen and confiscated their weapons inside, uh, hidden inside a Mitsubishi car, which included 27 Kalashnikov rifles, three pump action guns, one mortar, one sniping rifle, a box of grenades, 17 RPG launchers, one PKC machine gun, three pistols and different military equipment and military uniforms. Of course, we offer our condolences to all journalists and media men who were killed in today's terrorist attack. Thank you for watching. If you need more information about Syria and the region, you can visit our website in English, www.syriaonline.sy. Thank you. Have a nice day.